Today is a pretty chill day at home. I don't have any kids practices or anything like that. Might get crazy and go gro grocery shopping, might not. I'm just gonna do two pull through braids through my hair. Is that distracting? <laughs> you can do your part straight back if you want to. I always like to kind of give mine a little bit of something in the front. I'm gonna take my hair mascara. It is linked in my bio and kind of tame down those front pieces. Take your first ponytail. When you pull your first ponytail to kind of give the front a little bit of a bump, pull from underneath. If you don't want a bump, don't pull from underneath. Take your first ponytail, pin it off to the side, and we're gonna make another one right behind it. Now that we have our two ponytails, we're going to take the first ponytail, split it in half, make sure you're kind of even so they feel about the same, split it in half, take that second ponytail, flip it through the two you just split in half, and pull it forward and pin this piece off to the side. Now we've got our two pieces that we've split, and we're going to create another ponytail and add them into it. Now we're gonna take this ponytail we had clipped, split it in half, flip that new ponytail through it, and clip it off to the side. And now we're just gonna create another ponytail. Both sides are done. We're going to style it up now. And my back is a little weird because I have my short undercut that I'm growing out, but just work with it. Do fun little space buns or keep doing the braid all the way down is really cute too. So now that we're here, I'm going to take these two top pieces and just kind of pull and fatten them up a little bit, just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to move to the next one just a little bit at a time to pull and kind of fatten them up. And then I'm moving down to the next ones. Both sides are fattened up. Now I'm just kind of going to lightly tap and pull some pieces down and forward. Here's the uh, final look. One of you cute followers showed me to put these little hair clips in to cover the elastics. I love the idea, so I copied it.